There's less than a month to go until the world's top golfers descend on St Andrews for the 144th Open Championship. But last week, the best amateurs had a chance to play the old course as they fought for the St Andrews Lynx Trophy. Golfing World was invited to the home of golf to see the stars of tomorrow in action. It's an elite men's amateur event that was uh, established in 1989 and uh, it attracts competitors from all around the world. Uh, it's ranked as one of the top men's amateur events uh, in Europe and this year it's attracted competitors from 22 countries, so very good field. The format is a 72-hole stroke play tournament contested over four days. The chance to shine on some of golf's most famous holes has attracted many familiar names in the past. Most of today's Sort of superstars have all played in it. Uh, some have played better than others. Justin Rose was a winner um, in 1996. Uh, but your Ernie Els, Ratif Goosen, Oosthuizen, Harrington, McElroy, they've all played uh, and they've all competed here in the Lynx Trophy, St Andrews Lynx Trophy, over the years. Having spent the last year playing college golf in the US, 2014 winner Grant Forrest was back to defend his crown. He beat fellow Scott Bradley Neal in a playoff last year to claim the biggest title of his career so far. It was great. I mean, it was kind of, you know, the first big 72-holer I'd, I'd won. Um, and it was good to, to win against a field of, of this strength. Obviously, the playoff uh, ended up, we went down the first, and it was just really cool to have people watching, and it was a great day. Forrest had to adjust quickly to the conditions on the Scottish coast, which were in stark contrast to the sunnier climbs he'd left behind in the States. Well, it's windy, to say the least. I mean, you know, I just got back from uh, San Diego on Saturday night, so it's been a quick turnaround. Um, and, you know, I expected a little bit, a little bit warmer weather in the summer, but, you know, it's, it's looking fine. Having all the grandstands up, it, you know, it looks, it looks totally different. And, I think it just makes, makes this place even more special than it already is. Conditions were making low scoring very difficult, so there were only a handful of players under par going into the final round. Ireland's John Ross Galbraith teed off with a two-stroke lead, but Federico Zucchetti moved within a shot of Galbraith by the turn. The 20-year-old Italian was three under going down the 18th, and found himself in the same spot as his countryman Costantino Rocca had at the Open two decades earlier. There was no miracle putt this time though, and Zucchetti had to settle for a bogey. But he was still the clubhouse leader at two under with Galbraith two strokes better off with five to play. The Irishman's advantage quickly disappeared though as he found trouble off the tee on the par 5 14th. A triple bogey cost Galbraith the lead and he never got it back. So despite that drop shot on the 18th, Zucchetti became the first Italian to win the prestigious St Andrews Lynx Trophy. I didn't look at the leaderboard the last three holes because I just, just wanted to, to play my own game, uh, play shot by shot, and that, that's how I made the birdie on 16, even though I missed a short one on, uh, on 15, but then I made a good putt on, on 17 and 18. It was, uh, it was a tough shot playing uh, short of the value of sin is uh, it's always a tough shot. It, it doesn't it doesn't look tough, but when you're there and you know you have to make two or even one putt, it's it's always tough. With a third place finish here last year, Federico clearly enjoys Lynx golf and playing at St Andrews in particular. It's amazing. The atmosphere is uh, is great. Even last year, the the grandstands were not up. It was uh, it was still great. Uh, whenever you walk up the first the first tee box or the 18th green is is magic. If he carries on playing like this, it won't be the last time Zucchetti is in contention at the famous old course.